I want to comment on that Ray Rice domestic violence incident. You know, that football player that knocked out his wife in the elevator. I want to comment on it again. Now, I understand the public. You know, it's a public outcry saying that domestic violence is wrong, right? And yes, that's not what we should be promoting. You know, domestic violence is not good. But what I also say is that football is not good either. And, um... But there's so much money involved, and that's why they think they, they that's why they allow it. Boxing, competitive boxing, is not good either, and cage fighting certainly is not good. All these combat sports, you know, boxing, cage fighting, and even and football, they're not good for you. But the society allows it. Why? Because there's so much money involved. But the way that I see it is that you know I heard that this guy. Ray Rice, somebody told me that, you know, he had a $45 million contract and he just lost it, you know, because of this incident. Now, you think about the position of this woman. You know, she's married to a guy who has $45 million, which is a lot of money. I heard that he's living in a home that's like $6 million. I heard he has like nine cars, right? So she's married to this rich guy and she has so much benefit. For her to take a beating every now and then, for her is probably worth it. Like, hey, you know, um, he might beat me every now and then, but shit, I'm living it. You know, I'm living in this nice home with all these cars. I'm living at large, you know. I'll take a beating for that money. So what I'm basically saying, she's an adult. If she doesn't want to press charges against him, then I don't understand why everybody's making such a big deal about it. Now, I understand, you know, the people are saying, oh, you know, we need to stop the domestic violence. It's not right. Okay, we need to stop that. But at the same time, how come we're not stopping football when clearly people are dying from it, dying early, getting brain injuries? How come we're not stopping football? How come we're not stopping boxing? Look at what happened to Muhammad Ali. Look at all these boxers and their early deaths and their brain, you know, cells are dying in the ring. How come we're not stopping that? How come we're not stopping the cage fighting? But we want to stop domestic violence. Okay, that's fine. You know, I agree to that. Let's stop domestic violence. Let's stop the gang violence. But let's also stop the violence that's happening in the boxing ring. Let's stop the violence that's happening in the cage. And let's even stop the violence that's happening on the football field. You know, that's what I'm saying. It's like an inconsistency with what this society is trying to promote here. Here they got, um, you know, there are... They, they banned him from the NFL because he, he knocked out his wife. Basically, she didn't have a problem getting knocked out. She's still married. She, they got married right after the incident. She's fine. She's okay with it, but the society's not okay with it. Okay, I understand that. But why is the society okay with football then? Why, is it, why are they cheering when these football players are destroying each other on the football field? Why is everybody cheering when people are getting knocked out in the ring, like, looking as if they're about to die? Why are people cheering when people in the cage are killing each other inside the cage? Grounding and pounding each other, choking each other. People are it's ecstatic. But they're not stopping that. And that's the thing, there's no inconsistency that I see. It's like, you're cheering this football player for, like, tackling people. But then he, you know, he punches somebody and all of a sudden people go into public outcry. What do you expect? His profession is revolved around violence. And Mayweather, you know, there's, there's something going around with him saying that he, he beats his wife too. Well, he's a boxer. He's beating people up in the boxing ring. What do you expect? And he's the richest athlete in the world. Why is he the richest athlete in the world? We allowed him to be the richest athlete in the world. Because we... We love violence so much, we're, we're willing to pay people to be violent. But then when they're violent at home, we say that's a no-no. We, um, we ban them from the NFL. We, 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 we judge them as a bad person. There was a UFC fighter, the, the war machine, he nearly killed his ex-girlfriend to death, the, the, the porn star Christy Mack. He stabbed her like three times, he, he, like, he broke all her teeth. He was cutting her hair. He just beat her down, like destroyed her. You know, and um, 
the people didn't really make too much of a big deal about that. But then with this football player, you know, he knocks out his wife and then everybody's talking about it. Which I understand, you know, that shouldn't be happening. But at the same time, what I'm basically also saying is the boxing and the cage fighting and the football shouldn't be happening either. You know, so I'm saying, you know, boxing's been around for a while, football's been around for a while. It's not going to stop. There's too much money involved. But for me, for somebody that practices martial arts, why did we allow cage fighting to occur? Because cage fighting is the most violent out of all of them. And then we even allowed cage fighting to to be even in, in existence. But yet we're, 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 there's a public outcry because of this do domestic violence incident. I understand that. I understand that. But what I'm basically saying is like, why are we allowing all these other things to go on? You know, and there's a public outcry about the dog fighting with the Michael Vick. They made a big deal about that. But it's okay for humans to fight. I don't understand that. You know, that's another thing, you know. They say, hey, you know, if these people, these cage fighters, if they want to jump in the cage and, um, and you know, get take the risk of getting knocked out, they have that right. And these cage fighters, they might get paid $10 million a year, whatever, at the most. I don't know. But this wife was living it good. For her, she's like, hey, you know, it's worth the money. I'll take a few knockout blows for that money. That's the same mentality of a cage fighter. Hey, you know, I'm getting paid to fight in this cage. I'll take some knockout blows for that money. It's the same mentality, so I don't understand why everybody's making a big deal about it, the domestic incident, when they are directly allowing violence to occur all over the media. I mean, it's not only, this is not an elevator security camera catching the knockouts. I mean, these are like, like, HD, like, like, professional camcorders and the whole world is watching these people destroy each other but they think they don't see anything wrong with that but then when the, the when this this guy knocked out his wife in the elevator it's the whole public outcry which i understand okay that's great it's teaching professional athletes hey you know you better watch yourself you better have some self-control when you get angry you better have some self-control i like the punishment I like that. I, I encourage that. But what I'm basically saying is like, how come these cage fighters are not getting treated even worse than that? They, all the cage fighters, they should be thrown in jail. You know, for like many years. You know, they should not be, more, more money should not be thrown at them and fame thrown at them. I mean, this football player made a mistake. It cost him his whole career. He lost over $45 million. The whole public's all over it. I mean, they're really, like, coming down on him. And basically what I'm saying is all these cage fighters, that's how we should treat them. So it teaches people that violence is not cool. No matter if it's violence in the elevator, no matter if it's violence at home, no matter if it's violence on the streets, no matter if it's violence in the cage, no matter if it's violence in the boxing ring, no matter if it's violence in the bars, no matter if it's violence at the clubs, Violence is just not cool, and we should not be promoting violence. So basically what I'm saying is I'm trying to open pe people's up, you know, open people's eyes up to a consistency here. If we are not okay with domestic violence, then we should not be okay with combat sport either. You know, specifically cage fighting and boxing and things of that nature, tie boxing and all that crap. You understand? And it's the same mentality. Oh, these adults, they're adults. They can make their own decisions. Well, this woman, she's an adult. She can make her own decision. She, she wants to um, get knocked out every couple of years to get to live the lifestyle that she lives. Then she should have the right to do that. Why is, any, why is everybody making a big deal about that? Same thing with these cage fighters. They're making a bunch of money. Like, hey, you know what? I'll take the risk. I'll die early. I don't care. I'll be just like Muhammad Ali and I'll be... You know, shaking like crazy when I'm talking. Like, I won't even be able to talk. And I'll be shaking like this until I die. I don't care. Give me the money. Give me the fame. I'll do that. I mean, look at Lance Armstrong. I mean, he he did whatever it took to win. But the public, when they found out about what he did, they didn't agree to that. And they went against him. And they said, that's wrong. And that's basically what I'm saying. 
is that we have to realize what's going on. If we do not support violence, then we should not support violence no matter what platform is coming from. We should not encourage our kids to join gangs. We should not encourage our kids to practice cage fighting or even watch cage fighting. You know what I'm saying? Even boxing is, is violent. Even football is violent. But what I'm saying is like, hey, you know what? Football and boxing should be the most violent it gets as far as competitive sports is concerned. I'm mainly speaking against this cage fighting as like an extreme level of violence that needs to be, um, some, you know, some needs to be done about it. And um, this whole incident with the domestic happening in this elevator is an example of how hypocritical this society is. You understand? It's like, you know, you know, we 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 were paying Mayweather, you know, somebody like him, like most the most the richest athlete in the world for beating the hell out of people. What we don't what and then we punish him for beating his wife. It's like that's what his profession is. What do you what do you expect? You know what I'm saying? I mean that's you should already know. And the wife that's married to him should already know. And she should be like, hey, you know what? I'm with the richest athlete in the world. I'll take a few beatings because I'm living at large. She's living in a fancy home, get her own, you know, fancy cars. Everything's, everything's taken care of. She's living the life. She might be okay with taking a few beat downs. Just like these fighters are okay with getting beat down for the money. So, I mean, that's what I'm saying, um, that I'm bringing it up. You know, and even, um, there's even women that get into boxing and women that get into the cage as well. Why are we letting them in the cage to get beat down? It's not too different than this woman letting somebody beat her down. If a woman wants to let somebody beat her down, okay, then give her that freedom. Because we're giving it the freedom to, um, these sport fighters to get beat down too. So... Just like if somebody wants to commit suicide, like Robin Williams wanted to commit suicide. Hey, he wanted to do that to himself. Who's going to stop him? That's on him. This woman decided, hey, you know what? I'm going to let this guy beat me down. For her, she, she thinks it's worth it. Okay, let her do it. But if we're going to say, no, 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 that's not good. You shouldn't allow some man to beat you down no matter how rich he is or who he is. You should never let a man beat you down. Okay. If we're gonna if we're gonna make the decision for her and say, you know what, no, this is not okay, then we should make the same decision for the whole sporting combat sport industry and say, you know what, this cage fighting is not okay. This this um boxing is not okay. And foot even football is not okay. It's too dangerous. This should not be used as a way of entertainment. You know, we should not be promoting violence within this culture. So that's the way that I see it.